Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. Now, this isn't actually my project. As you know, a couple of weeks ago, I shared a video called Cards in the Mail to me, and I shared all of the cards and things that had been sent to me. And included in that was from the lovely Shirley, was a set of six of these little um, pouches that had little green and black chocolates inside. So it was one for me, one for Chris, and one for the four boys, because, well, you know, they all help me in my business. And I showed everybody opening them, unfortunately there's no chocolate left. Um, and loads of you have said, how do you make it, how do you make it? So I have figured it out and I'm gonna put it together now. I haven't cut any of the paper, I haven't cut any of the cards, I haven't even tested it, but I'm gonna show you my version of it. And I decided I was gonna do a Christmassy one. So I've got some of the under the mistletoe paper, which I think is so sweet. I have got my scoreboard handy and I've got my tree. So I've worked it out. So I've worked out metric and imperial. So everything will be on my blog. And okay, so five by five and three eighths of an inch. So I want it five inches left to right because that's the width of it, which in metric is 14 centimeters. Is that right? I can't remember. No, the wider is, so it's five and three eighths of an inch that way, five inches that way, 14 centimetres, 12 and a half. So let's take the five and three eighths of an inch first. Okay, let's move that to one side by five. Okay, do you know what? I might do an imperial version as well. So 14 centimetres is... This is me merrily going five and three eighths of an inch, and I did five and five eighths of an inch. Let's trim that down. So, this will be the imperial. Let's do the metric version. So, let's take it to uh, 14 centimeters by 12 and a half. Okay, metric, imperial. Okay. So, on the long side, and it is very slightly longer, yeah, three eighths of an inch long, longer. So on the long side, score it at one and a half and three and seven eighths of an inch. And then on the short side, score it, and we want the paper to be right way around. Yes, we want it that way around. <laughs> one and a half two, three and a half, and four. Okay, let me get this folded up, because there's bits on it, so I'm gonna to have to put this over here. Like I said, I haven't tested this at all. So. It's very sweet though, and I mean, I can see why everybody wanted to know how to make it, because it is really rather adorable. So I'm just folding up all those pieces and these side panels. Okay, so it looks I've got two score lines there and two there, but I've got a deeper one there than that. And it's these two I need to take away. So And I know from looking, and I can see from here, it's a freehand triangle. And I know from the other um, five, it was a freehand triangle that Shirley cut. So I'm going to follow that and do a freehand triangle as well. There we go. Right. So then after that, it's making these into triangle parts. So that's easy enough. And by the looks of things, all of them. Okay, so all the way round. Hoping you're able to see inside. So I'm just doing that in there. Oh, look. 
See, I did it. Wish I had a chocolate now to test it. Um, yeah, and it would just fold up and round and close up like that. Ooh, cool. And the chocolate sits in that bit. That's really cute, isn't it? Green and blacks, apart from the fact that I got... <coughs> got all my reindeers upside down what a good job I'm doing an imperial a metric version okay let's do that then I need my trimmer for this one so the longer side is 14 centimeters so I'm scoring so you you go the other direction at four centimeters five nine and ten And then, no, I did that wrong. <laughs> Should have just been four and ten. Oops. This is the one that was meant to be four, five, nine, and ten. The short side. Five, nine, and ten. So, okay, so on the longer side, I'm just going to do... I'm not going to do all the extra score lines. I'm just going to do those ones right there. And then. This is what happens when I'm building projects for you to see. I make the mistakes so you don't have to. That is part of my job. And actually, you know what? I get endless pleasure from designing and making errors because, um, yeah, that, I'm gonna cut those away. You never know what's gonna come, come out of a mess up. So, cutting again those same two pieces away. And I'm gonna do a freehand triangle again. That looks good to me and fold up those bits you could mass produce these really quickly I don't know what the time's oh we're only on seven minutes huh. yeah you could make loads of these very easily teacher gifts or actually what I was thinking was um, Christmas caroler gifts you could put obviously you could put green and black chocolates in because that's what Shirley designed them for but you could put chocolate coins in or real coins in and gift them to anybody who comes caroling. We, do you know what, this Christmas we didn't have carolers down here, but then I wasn't surprised because we live on a private road and nobody comes down here, only the um, four families who live here. So that didn't surprise me, but if you have people who come caroling, you could put real monies in there. There you go, you can put your chocolates in that bit. Put real money in there and make it like a little purse. So that goes in there. I wish I had a chocolate. I wish I'd not eaten them all, <laughs> but I did. Actually, no, I ate mine. Um, but that's really cute. So if I bring back in Shirley's. Oh, and she's got a little magnet to close. I would probably not go for a magnet. I might just go for a ribbon. What color is that? Does anyone know what color that is in this one? Uh, shall I have a look in my book? If you didn't know, when you're looking at designer series paper in the catalogue, let's come to my paper page, and where is it? Mistletoe Kisses. No, under the mistletoe. All of the designer series papers, you've got them all there, but down here at the bottom, and I'm not on autofocus, but underneath it, it tells you all of the colours that are in that collection. So this is real red. Okay, so do I have a real red ribbon? I do. I have that one's real red. So, yeah, I would go with ribbon rather than a magnet, just because it's a, you know, you never know who's going to get it. I mean, my children are more than sensible enough for, you know, to deal with magnets. But if it's going to end up with a very small child, you might want to put a different way to close. So I cut that too small for my fingernails, didn't I? They're too small. Fine. Oh, do you know what? This is real red, isn't it? Ooh, this is a new ribbon. Ooh, let's have a look. Let's have a new ribbon. Ooh, 
I'd like a new ribbon. Maybe I'll just tie it in a knot. But then you could decorate it however you fancy. But yeah, loads of you were very impressed with um, with this particular box and wanted to know how to make it. So thank you, Shirley, for sending it to me and for me being able to pass it on to everybody. And quite a few of you have said, how can you send stuff to me? If you look on my blog, on my contact page, it says contact me. My address is there. Um, but I'm not going to verbally announce it all over YouTube. So, yeah, cute, cute, cute. So, what do you think? I like it. Yeah, I'm not going to build this one with my upside down reindeer. Oops, a daisy. Well, I'm going to say, oh, look, you could tuck that bit in there as well. Oh, look, and it holds itself closed. Oh, yeah. Bravo. Anyway, thank you for so, ever so much for joining me. Thank you, Shirley, for sending it to me. And if you make them, send me some pictures. Bye.